a fighter jet so advanced even its design is classified, a name pulled from myth and rebirth, and a patch that's already causing global speculation. The US Air Force just confirmed production has started on the world's first true sixth generation fighter, the F-47. But here's the twist. Leaked images suggest it might carry the nickname Phoenix, a bird rising from the ashes, a program that nearly died, now roaring back to life. And China? They're watching every move. This isn't just another jet. This is the future of American air dominance. In March 2025, President Trump stood in the Oval Office and made an announcement that sent shockwaves through the defense world. Boeing had won the contract. The F-47 was real, and it was coming. Fast forward to September, and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin confirmed that the first F-47 is already being built. First flight, 2028 operational status by 2029. This is the jet designed to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor, a fighter that will fly faster than Mach 2, cover over 1,000 nautical miles in a single mission, and feature stealth technology so advanced it's invisible across multiple spectrums. But the real mystery? That patch, a phoenix, a Latin motto, and a coastline that looks an awful lot like China's eastern shore. The Air Force says it's unofficial, but nothing in the military is ever just a coincidence. If you think the US military is about to change the game again, type YES in the comments below. Let's get the facts straight. The F-47 is not a concept anymore. It's not a rumor, it's in production. Boeing's facility in St. Louis, Missouri is where it's happening. Workers there erupted in cheers the morning Trump announced the contract. These aren't just employees clocking in, these are Americans building the most lethal fighter jet ever conceived, and they know it. General Alvin didn't mince words. He called it the world's first crewed sixth generation fighter. That's a direct shot at China, which has been parading its own sixth gen aircraft prototypes, the J-36 and others, in recent months. But here's the difference. China shows off experimental jets. The US builds operational ones. The F-47 has been secretly tested since 2019. Two experimental X-planes developed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin under DARPA contracts have logged hundreds of flight hours. That's not prototyping, that's validation. The Air Force plans to buy at least 185 of these jets. That's the same number originally envisioned for the F-22 Raptor. But here's the kicker. The F-47 will cost less than the F-22 fly farther, be easier to maintain, and pack even more advanced stealth. It's designed to penetrate the most hostile airspace on Earth. Think heavily defended zones. Think China's anti-access area denial networks. The F-47 is built to punch through and dominate. Before we go further, if you're enjoying this breakdown, take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of you watch without subscribing. It costs nothing but it helps us bring you more content like this. Now, let's talk about that patch. It first appeared on social media in early September 2025. Posted by an aviation watcher, it spread like wildfire. At the center, a bold phoenix, wings spread, rising. Around it, six red stars, three above, three below. A Latin motto, Super Amos Pers Thomas Letimus. We overcome, we endure, we rejoice. And on the right side, a white outline that looks suspiciously like the eastern coast of China. The Air Force confirmed it. The patch is real. It was designed by members of the F-47 System Management Office within Air Combat Command. But they were quick to add. It's still being refined. It's not official. No one in the Air Force is wearing it yet, so why does it exist? Patches in the military aren't random. They carry meaning, heritage, mission focus. The Phoenix is a symbol of rebirth, and that's fitting because the F-47 program nearly died. In 2024, costs were spiraling. The price per jet was projected to be three times that of an F-35. Then Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall paused the program. He ordered an internal study. The question, could the US achieve air superiority without this expensive cutting edge fighter? The answer came back clear, number. There was no alternative. Major General Joseph Kunkel put it bluntly at a defense symposium. We tried a whole bunch of different options. There was no more viable option than NGAD to achieve air superiority in this highly contested environment. So the program was revived, funded, fast-tracked. The Phoenix rose. But will Phoenix become the official nickname? 
probably not. The Navy just named its new E-130J aircraft Phoenix-2. It's a doomsday plane, designed to command nuclear submarines during a crisis. Having two military aircraft with nearly identical nicknames would be confusing. Some think the F-47 might instead inherit the name Thunderbolt, the nickname of the original P-47 from World War II. The A-10 Warthog currently holds the name Thunderbolt II, but it's being retired. That frees up the name. Either way, the symbolism is clear. This jet represents American air power reborn. Let's zoom out. Why does this matter? Because air superiority is everything. In modern warfare, if you don't control the skies, you don't win. The F-22 Raptor has been the king of air dominance since 2005. Unmatched, undefeated, but it's aging. And it was never built in large numbers. Only 187 were made. The F-35 is versatile, stealthy, and widely deployed. But it's not an air superiority fighter, it's a multi-role platform. The F-47 is different. It's designed for one mission, total air dominance. It will have a combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles. That's 25% more range than current US fighters. It will fly faster than Mach 2. It will feature next-generation broadband stealth, meaning it's invisible to radar, infrared sensors, and more. It will operate alongside AI-powered drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft. These drones will scout ahead, engage threats, and support the F-47 in real time. And here's what really sets it apart. It's sustainable. The F-22 and F-35 are maintenance heavy. They require specialized infrastructure. The F-47 is designed to be easier to deploy, easier to maintain, and cheaper to operate. That means more jets, more missions, more coverage. The Air Force wants these jets flying in the 2030s, and they're not messing around. China is watching. Russia is watching. The J-36 that China showed off? It's a tri-engine beast, looks advanced. But the Pentagon believes it's still in the experimental phase. The F-47, by contrast, is already being built. That's the difference between showing off and showing up. And let's not forget, the men and women of the US Air Force don't just fly these jets, they embody the values behind them. Courage, excellence, innovation. They're the ones who will take the F-47 into the most dangerous skies on Earth. And they'll do it with the same resolve that's kept America's skies safe for decades. We owe them not just our thanks, but our full support. The F-47 isn't just a jet. It's part of a larger strategy called Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD. This is a family of systems. The F-47 is the centerpiece. But it includes advanced engines, weapons, electronic warfare suites, sensors, and networking systems. Everything is designed to work together, seamlessly, lethally. Boeing's win also has major economic implications. The initial contract is worth over $20 billion. Over the life of the program, it could reach hundreds of billions. That's jobs. That's innovation. That's American manufacturing at its finest. Boeing's St. Louis plant is being revitalized. Workers are back on the production line. And they're not just building a plane. They're building the future of air combat. But let's be real. This program isn't without controversy. Frank Kendall, the former Air Force Secretary, questioned the decision to move forward so quickly. He worried about the cost, about the rushed timeline. He's not wrong to be cautious. But here's the thing. Caution doesn't win wars. Vision does. Leadership does. And right now, the US is leading. The F-47's designation itself is layered with meaning. The number 47 honors the P-47 Thunderbolt, a World War II workhorse that helped win the skies over Europe. It also marks 1947, the year the Air Force became an independent service. And yes, it nods to President Trump, the 45th and 47th president, whose administration greenlit the program. Love him or hate him, the decision was bold. And it's paying off. So here's where we stand. The F-47 is real. It's being built. It's on track to fly in 2028 and enter service by 2029. Whether it's called Phoenix Thunderbolt or something else entirely, one thing is certain. This jet will change everything. It represents American innovation, military strength, and the resolve to stay ahead. China's watching. The world's watching and the U.S. Air Force is ready to dominate. If this got you fired up, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment. Co what do you think the F-47's nickname should be? Phoenix? Thunderbolt? Or something new? Let's hear it. Thanks for watching. Stay informed. Stay proud.